Incoming Agrarian Reform Secretary Rafael Mariano bears his priorities once he assumes office by the end of this month. These include an audit of the Agrarian Reform Fund and a review of the Hacienda Luisita Land Distribution Program. Marita Muaje would add a detail. A media forum was held today where incoming Department of Agrarian Reform or DAR Secretary Capaeng Mariano talked to the media for the first time after he was announced by President-elect Rodrigo Duterte. Mariano laid down his priorities once he takes over DAR. Some of his priorities include making sure that farmer beneficiaries of the agrarian reform program are still in the same land. Mariano added that only 9.7% or 1 in every 10 farmers were able to continuously pay for their amortization. Yung uh, pagtiya na yung mga magsasaka natin na beneficiary man o hindi pa ng uh, agrarian reform programs ay makapanatili sa kanilang lupang sinasaka. Uh, meron akong data na from 1972 to uh, 2014, ang report ng DAR ay meron na silang na-award o na ipamahaging mga 4.6 million hectares ng lupain uh, sa may 2.7 agrarian reform beneficiaries. Mariano says we need a new law which will give protection to farmers and a true agrarian reform. This is also in line with his objective of free land distribution. The incoming DAR secretary will also look into the 80.9 billion peso accumulated fund from 2011 to 2014. Ang isa pa pong gusto kong malaman ay anong dahilan no? uh, kung bakit sa nalolooban ng apat na taon from 2011, 2012, 2013 at 2014, babanggitin ko po ngayon dito sa media forum na ito, uh, cumulatively na pagkalooban ng Kongreso ang DAR ng 80.9 billion pesos. Ano po? Pero pag tinignan natin, merong 31 billion pesos na unused appropriations. Merong uh, 23 billion na unreleased appropriations at may 8 billion pesos na released but an obligated allotment. Mariano added that if 50% of this was allocated to farmer support and services, then many were already deprived of help. He will also have a meeting with the Commission on Audit or COA for this and will ask for a special audit of the Agrarian Reform Fund. Another of his priorities is for the actual distribution of Hacienda Luisita to farmer beneficiaries, which he says is long overdue. At isa pong hindi ko makakalimutan at nasa isip kong kailangan uh, uh, maging isa sa pangunahi akbang ay alamin kung paano ang naging implementasyon ng DAR sa pamamahagi ng may 4,115 hectares ng Hacienda, Luisita. In the end, Kapaeng says that he will open the gates of the DAR office and will be open for any dialogue with farmers, which according to him should be given a warm welcome. For the People's Television, this is Marita Muahe.